Hey everybody, this is Captain Eat here for you for some more Street Fighter 6 news. Now we got four, four characters for people today. We got Ken Masters, Blanca, E Honda, and Dalsum. Four characters and we get some more information about everything you can really do in this game. Now first off, we get the battle. Well, actually we have the World Tour mode. Yeah, it was kind of like hinted at in the very first trailer we ever got for Street Fighter. But you can make your own created character in this game mode. You can like, walk around Metro City, do whatever you want. And they did say this is called World Tour mode. So there's going to be other places you can go around the world. But right in this trailer, all we really see is Metro City. You get to walk around, do whatever you want as you create a character. Which is pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty cool too. I mean, there's even some moments in the trailer where like you create a character goes up to Chun Li or goes up to uh, Ryu and you have to practice and you get to learn some of their moves like they're your master like that, that's really cool too and you can fight in the world tour more too <clears throat> excuse me you can fight in the world tour more too I'm gonna show you guys here in a sec and also there's this thing called the battle hub it's like this big giant room arena place that you can go up to different little arcade things play some old Street Fighter games or you play or you can play some old Street Fighter games or you can obviously play Street Fighter 6. Now I don't think you can use your creative character online because there's a point in this trailer where you're like a creative character sits down in this little gaming center it goes online to play against somebody but you can see Ryu and Chun-Li fight and then they win the fight and then on this big screen everybody can watch it shows your creative character that right next to you it shows the character you were playing there so like you know maybe like my creative character like this and it's like you know captain eat wins and right next to me is like uh kimberly i was using kimberly to run that match so i don't think you can use your creative character in actual online fights you can fight in the war tour mode <laughs> and to catch my breath you can fight in the war tour you can fight in the world tour mode with your character but they didn't like flat out say you can't fight in online with your character. But I'm just saying from what I saw in this trailer, the fact that we didn't see any characters fighting. Like when they got to the online stuff, you only saw like the regular characters in the game fight. You didn't see like your creative character fight online. You saw your creative character pop up because you know you're you're whoever you create a character and then you're right next to you. Kimberly. Cause I was just using Kimberly in that match. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we get here too. And um anything else am I forgetting before I start to show you guys the trailer? Uh Nah, I think that was about it. I mean, they revealed a lot. <laughs> Obviously, four characters plus all of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost forget. There's a closed beta coming out October 7th, and it's going to last from October 7th to October 10th. And obviously, since it's a closed beta, you have to sign up. So, hopefully, I get in. I can upload some gameplay for you guys. But, uh, yeah, I guess yeah, I guess you go. I don't know where you go, actually. I guess you got to go to the website, and it tells you. If not, then I guess look it up. I, I, I mean, you're the YouTuber, Captain Geek, so you know, I actually don't know. <laughs> I actually couldn't find anywhere. I was at school when this stuff came out. And I was like, I got like another two, three hours at school and all this Street Fighter 6 news coming out. I got to hurry up and get home. I was so mad. I was stuck at school and all this stuff came out. But anyway, the trailer starts off with Ken Masters at a construction site. I guess he's, I guess he's a construction worker because some stuff starts to fall over. It's going to kill this guy. He jumps up, kicks out the way. He goes, hey, man safety first and gives him his uh hard hat he looks really cool in this game i like how he looks and then after that we get a bunch of the creative character stuff you see luke you go wow you're a cool guy well you can call me luke or you can call me coach and you see a bunch of the creative character stuff and then we get into the doll some e honda blanca and ken how <laughs> to make sure i said everybody and ken gameplay and they all look really cool the only people that look a bit off to me is blanca and uh, Ihana, that face looked a bit off to me, but other than that, they everybody else looks really good. I mean, even Ihana and Blanca, they look good in this game. It's just their face, they look a bit off, but I'll get used to it. I, they look, they, they made Blanca look really good in this game. I mean, they, I didn't think they could do it. The concept art that they had for him looks a bit better than what they have in the game. But hey, it's, it's cool. <laughs> it's all cool, man. It's whatever. Anyway. Uh, here we go. We see Ken. Like I said, he kicks that thing out of the way so it doesn't kill the guy. He picks up the hat for him and tosses it to the side. I mean, Ken, Ken looks dope. I mean, Ken looks really dope in this game. Hold up, y'all. One second. Okay, Emma, and I'm back. And like I said, you get to see your creative character in this game. You get to see Luke, and he's apparently your coach throughout this world tour mode. And you just get to see all around Metro City. You get to goof around. Do whatever you want. You can use your abilities to like transport yourself. Like you see one of your creative characters teleport yourself. Like, like just like Yonder or do the Chun-Li flying kick. 
to get the one point to the other. So it's really cool. You can use your basic abilities to do whatever. And like I said, in this world tour mode, you can fight, I guess, whoever. Or I guess not whoever, but you can fight a lot of different people you want to, I guess. <laughs> I guess you can just fight whoever you really want. It doesn't really matter. And then, like I said, you'll see a character go up to chun Li or go up to Ryu and they're training you. I mean, that's really cool. And they become your trainer. And you get to learn their moves, too. I don't know if you got to do a bunch of special misses on that, but... Hey, you get to become them. Like I said, yeah, that that looks cool. It just stops the elephant. That looks dope. But anyway, like I said, their faces look a bit off to me. Just E Honda and just uh, it was just E Honda and Blanca. Other than that, everybody else looks really dope to me. Especially Ken. Look at that. <laughs> look at my boy Ken. He looks dope. I really like how he looks. And we didn't get to see some of their gameplay. And they look really fun to play as. I thought Blanca like. Well, I know. I was going to say, why is he biting you? Because I kept thinking that every time I watched this trailer. Like, I watched it a few times, but, I mean, he's... Because if I'm correct in the Street Fighter lore, he was a normal guy, and he somehow got turned into how he looks now, but he's still, like, like no... Like, he, he, like, he still has his mind. I mean, he's still, like, somewhat of an animal, but he still has his mind, I'm pretty sure. I, I think so, yeah. He still, he still has his mind, so he's not, like, a ravaged animal. I mean, he just learned how to talk in Street Fighter 3 that I learned about. But he's not like a super ravaged animal. He really, he used to be a human. But other than that, yeah, this looks amazing. <laughs> I mean, all of this stuff looks... Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. There's another game mode to where you can set the settings up to do some wacky cool stuff. Like you see here, you can have the ball that explodes, electricity things. I forgot what it was called. But you can like set it up to do whatever you really want to. I <laughs> mean, whatever you really want to, you can do it. And this is the battle hub. Uh, I think... Um, I think it's, do I have to cut it out? I don't know. It, it's... I always do so because obviously when I do my avatar reviews or my Tokyo reviews, like I can I can show the TV and show some stuff with the volume down. I can only show like a few seconds and then I have to turn away that I can show some more. But then with video games, I'm like, yeah, I mean, I can play like a video. I, like you know, when I get the game, let's see, when I get Street Fighter, I can stream for like two plus hours so you guys to everything. I won't get because it's a game. You can't get copyrighted for that unless they play like some song or whatever. I can't get copyrighted. But every time when I do a video like this, I'm like. Hold up, do I need to stop? Like, can I show this much? It's like, I get so confused. I get show this much in that. But anyway, it's just a little laugh bit of the trailer where you see your creator character do some stuff around the battle hub. That's a, This is a really cool stage. I like this stage. But you get to see them do the battle hub. And like I said, look, watch. You're going to see a creator character win a match on the big screen. You see? It shows your character, but also shows who you are playing as. So I don't think you can use your creator character in the online mode. But you can't use them to walk around and talk to and interact with people, but that's whatever. I can't wait to see everybody's ultimate, especially Honda's. I mean, it's Honda, especially Dawson's. Dawson's ultimate looks really cool. Everybody's ultimate will be way better in Street Fighter VI. Especially, look at this. Boom! <laughs> He's gonna punch him straight to the ground. That just looks awesome. And then we get to see a little uh, nod to the old Street Fighter games. We get to beat up the cars right after this. That was really cool. That's a nice touch to put in here. <laughs> you get to be up well the car here's a semi truck but it's still pretty cool that was dope that was really dope and it still says 2023 we don't know when this game is coming out 2023 a lot of people are saying it's going to come out in february because the last few street fighter games came out in february who knows hopefully that'd be pretty cool um like i said street fighter 6 i remember dawson's ultimate you get to see it in this trailer it's just when his belly gets big and he blows some fire and that's it that was pretty lame. And then in Street Fighter Six, I think, uh, what's a block? A Honda. A Honda's ultimate was his hundred hand slap, but the way it was animated, it didn't look too cool. Like everybody's ultimate gonna be wavy, especially Jerry. Like, I told you, I already told you about Jerry, because Jerry's ultimate was just her jumping. She kicked, and that slice of air came out, and that was it. But everybody gets a really cool big cinematic trailer. Oh, that's right. I wanted to um talk about because they got uploaded to the Street Fighter Six website. Uh, all of them already because it took forever for Guile to get uploaded so I didn't think uh, you know everybody else to get uploaded that quickly but this is what I wanted to show you guys or tell you guys really <clears throat> so every character gets the description on this website and they get the hates and the likes and the dislikes and everything and their weight and their height so for e Honda, a sumo wrestler looking to bring the spot I mean the sport worldwide e Honda has the skills of a Yo Kozumi, don't know what that is, but his con constant globe trotting has prevented his promotion. Also, an expert chef, renowned for mouth watering 
Chaco U Stew. He hates indecisiveness. He likes baths. <laughs> weighs, I mean, height is 6'1, weighs 302 LB. That would be way more. I'm really excited for his ultimate because look at this. You see him again, a flame dome fighting. So I'm thinking when he starts off his ultimate, he's going to grab you. Then a sumo wrestler ring is going to appear and it's going to come on fire and he's going to do whatever he does. That is dope. I can't wait to see what he's going to do for that. We get Dalsam, a monk and yoga master from India who has served as a guide for countless suffering souls. Prefers to avoid conflict when possible, but his inherent hatred of evil complies him to dispense stern justice. Hates Distractions harming others, likes meditation, height 659, can vary because he can stick, <laughs> and weighs 106 LB, can vary. And I saw his taunt move against Chun Li, his arm stretches out super long, and he goes, <laughs> He goes, Come on, but it's so funny how long his arm gets, and then he goes, Come on, let's go. <laughs> And let's see, Honda's uh, ultimate. I can't wait to see because you saw like he like stretched out his arms super far and was just hitting you like crazy. I can't wait to see the end of that. Um, oh, it's called Extreme Battle where you can set up the conditions and do whatever you want. It's called Extreme Battle. My bad, I almost forget what it was called. There was some like extra gameplay that was out, but I can't. Honestly, I can't really find it. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know. I don't want to go on another YouTuber's thingy, so because that's that's their stuff. Yeah, I, I can't find I know it's on Maximum Dudes video. You can go on his. We get Blanca. A kind-hearted defender of nature. Blanca has become an adventure tour guide. Confident his and, and uh sorry, confident his in me inner inamite knowledge of the jungle serves as springboard to fame and comfortable life for his beloved mother. Oh, that's nice. Hates army ants, likes Samantha Blanca Chandos. Okay, I don't know who Samantha is, but all right. Uh, height 6'4", weighs 216. And Blanca's ultimate just look like he's going to grab you, do some spins, and then boom, electricity. Now, Ken. Ken is the interesting one. Listen to this. Ken, former U.S. National Fighting Champ and ex-VP of the Masters Foundation and associate I mean, accusations of orchestrating a criminal plot has forced Ken to abandon his family and business and go into hiding. Hates pointless meeting, likes family. Height 5'9", weighs 183 pounds. Now, that is interesting. Why? Because in the leaks for, when we got the, because the, the whole roster got leaked, like after the first big Free Fighter 6 trailer, after that teaser one with Ken and Ryu. Um, wait, no, I, mean, I meant Luke and Ryu. So in the in the, the whole roster got leaked, right? And there was some leaks that came out about what the story mode and what each character was doing in the story mode was doing. Now with Ken, it was saying that he was since we got the official stuff here now, like the official stuff, like I can I can say this. In the leaks, it was saying that he wanted to follow the same dream as Ryu. His wife got sick of it, left him, took his son, and now he's just a bum on the street. He can barely just do anything in 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 a in a in Sean. And Laura, we're going to be in the story mode. I mean, look, I, I really want Sean and, Luke and Laura. I really want them in this game. I really do. But that just sounded ridiculous. Uh, why does he want it? Like, why would he follow the same thing as Ryu? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And his wife loves him so much. Why would he get sick of it? Like, that made no sense. No sense at all. So I'm so glad he is. Okay, so he's getting accused to be entangled with some criminal organization. So now he has to go into hiding to protect his family. Boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That makes so much more sense and so much more sense for the character. Because what that leak was saying, that made no sense, dog. No sense. Like, come on, now. So, what? <laughs> what? Okay, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all there for being wonderful human beings. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. That, that was ridiculous.